ChatGPT just launched their brand new AI agent builder and this is by far the biggest update that they've ever released. Because now anybody, even a complete beginner, can build out AI agents and AI automations that you can sell or use for yourself. And what does this mean? That you have to spend less time doing complex or tedious tasks because you can now automate them with ChatGPT. By the end of this video, you're gonna know about several mind-blowing use cases that you could use this for to both save time and make some money. Use case number one that I would strongly suggest that you use this tool for is to turn your ChatGPT projects into AI agents and AI workflows that either one, you could have your team use, two, you could have your friends, family, or somebody else use, or three, you could actually end up selling this. Because if you're watching this video, I'm sure that you use ChatGPT in order to build out projects. For example, I have this YouTube scriptwriter project right here that is incredibly valuable to me. This allows me to write my YouTube scripts incredibly quickly. In the past, this used to take me hours to do, but now I literally get it done in seconds because of this project and the way that I trained it. And guess what I can do now? I can now sell this to people or give it away for free because I can actually build this out as its own standalone agent that I can then put on my website or behind a paywall or wherever I want it. Now, here's how you're actually gonna do that. You're gonna click into the project that you want to build into its own standalone agent. You are then going to come up here. You are gonna click on edit instructions and you are then going to copy the instructions that you have given this agent. You're gonna come back Back over to this agent builder right here and you are going to click start and then you are going to add in whatever type of agent you want. For this particular example, this is going to be a YouTube script writer and then what I'm going to do is I am going to replace the instructions right here and then I am going to add this in right here. I want you to be a YouTube expert script writer that builds me scripts based on the scripts from my past successful videos. Every single response should make a video that is 10 to 12 minutes long. Now, we could come in here and we can add in content context if we want. We can include the chat history. We could change the model that this uses. If you found that other models give you better results, we could change the reasoning effort and all of this jazz. And we can even come over here and evaluate it. But what I want to do with this one in particular is we're going to click on tools right here. We're going to click on file search, and then we're actually going to be able to upload this because what makes this project great is not the system instructions, but instead the file that I have actually uploaded here. So what this is going to allow me to do is come over to my computer. I'm going to type in script outlines one through three. We're going to be able to do a search for this and then find this document. And then from here, I'm going to put this in this agent. Okay, so I found this right here. What I'm then going to do, we're gonna come back over into this agent builder. I'm gonna pull my finder back up. I'm going to drag this and I am going to drop this over here. And now this is going to have access to this. We're gonna come over here. We're going to attach this. And then from here, we could come over here and actually preview this and see if it works. So I'm gonna use this the same exact way that I would actually use this over here. I'm gonna come over here and I am gonna scroll up and I'm just gonna grab this right here. I'm gonna come back over over here, I'm gonna put title, I'm gonna put this, and then we can actually preview how this actually works and see what the agent is actually doing. We could see that it's searching through script examples, it's then searching through these files right here, and then this is going to go through and reason and actually build out a script, which is pretty awesome here because again, I'm able to train this with the knowledge, the data, the proprietary information that I have, then I'll be able to give this away or sell this and look at this. This goes through and then scripts out videos exactly how I actually want the video scripted out. Now, use case number two is going to be building out your own AI brain. I'm sure you've heard people talk about this before in the past, but essentially what this means is that you can come in here and you can build out an AI brain. What you're going to do is you're going to come in to create a new workflow. If you don't see this templates right here, you might just have to come in and create a new project. For some reason, under my default project, it doesn't show. But if I come over in a new project, it does show. I think it's just a glitch that they need to work out. But nevertheless, you come over here into templates, you will be able to come down here and find internal knowledge assistant. What this is going to be able to do is this is going to be able to triage and answer questions from employees. Now, you might not have employees, but you might have people that ask you questions. You might have an audience that wants to ask you questions, or maybe you just wanna be able to remember everything from everywhere. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click into this internal knowledge assistant, and they already have this built out as a template right here. 
So we have a start. We could see that this then rewrites the user's question in order to actually be better. So you don't have to have your users be an expert at actually using this. Then this is going to classify this, and this is going to then classify the question based on Q&A, fact finding, or other. And then what this is going to do is actually handle this with three different types of agents, an internal Q&A, an external fact finding, or just a regular agent. And what you can do is come in here and actually train each of these. So you can then upload knowledge base like I showed you before, or if you click on tools right here, guess what you can do? You can come over into MCP server and you could add in a bunch of different tools. You could give this access to your Gmail. You could give it access to your drive. You could give it access to your Dropbox. You could even give it your access to third party servers like this. So that you can then have your team, you can have your customers, you can have your clients, you can have your audience come over here and ask questions to this that otherwise they would be asking you and wasting your time. Now for use case number three, I wanted to show you how you could actually make this a hundred times more powerful because if we come back over here and we click back into tools and come back into MCP server, what you're going to notice is yeah, there are eight things here and a few things here, but that is incredibly limiting. So what would make this more powerful? What if you could connect this to a free tool like rube.app where you can then come into their marketplace and be able to connect this to more than 800 apps that can take over 50,000 actions. Well, guess what? You could do that and you could do that for free. It's literally as simple as you coming over here, clicking on install group. And again, this is free. You come over to this MCP URL. You are going to copy this right here. You're going to come back into the agent. You're then going to click on server. You're going to add in this URL. You could label this right here, Rube MCP. You can do Rube MCP. And then from here, you just have to come over here. We're going to click on none. We're going to click on connect. And now this is going to go through and this is going to establish a connection with Rube. And then guess what we're able to do? You're then able to log in to all of these different apps. There's literally hundreds of them. And then you will be able to have your agents on ChatGPT access all of these. And this gives you access to some pretty crazy things. For example, browser use. It also allows you to have complex chains. You just don't have to hit one of these at once. You could have this hit multiple things. For example, it can hit Gmail, it can hit Slack, and then it can post something on X all in one chain from one prompt. In addition to that, this drastically reduces the number of agents that you need to actually build out because you can go through and establish just one connection with Rube's MCP and then be able to access all these different tools. And the best part about Rube is if you go to the pinned comment below right now, you can get started today for free. Immediately, you're gonna be able to connect to more than 800 plus apps that can take more than 50,000 actions and help make your ChatGPT agents way more powerful. Now, for use case number four, you could actually use this in order to build out a customer service bot for your website or for your audience or for your employees. For example, if we come over here and click on customer service, we can actually see exactly how this works. And again, this is already built out as a template and you literally just have to go through and build out all these different conditions and make it specific to you. And then also just give this access to your different tools. So this right here is going to determine if the user input is going to be reasonable so it's a jailbreak guard. Basically, it's just trying to make sure that it's able to answer whatever it is. And we could see what actually determines that when we come over here and we could see whether or not it's text or if it fails, we could see why it's going to fail. And then we can also see what is actually going to happen. So as we come through here, really what's important are these different agents right here. We could see that there's a return agent, there's a retention agent, there's an information agent. But what I would strongly suggest that you do is actually go through here and make these way more customizable because if you click in here then you click in tools then you come into mcp server guess what you can do you can hook this up to shopify you can hook this up to stripe you can hook this up to hubspot or paypal and guess what this allows you to do this allows you to see whether or not somebody's a client this allows us to see whether or not there's any notes on this client. This allows us to actually go through and process refunds for people or find out where somebody's order is or find out 
when their refund's going to hit, or all things like that. And you can even set this up to something like Zendesk, again, by hooking this up to Rube. If we come over here, type in Zendesk, we could see that this is here, and you can basically build out your own customer service agent that reduces the amount of time that you have to have humans doing customer service because this can do so many different things. In addition to that, if we come over here, we can hook this up to Calendly or Google Calendar. So now this can answer questions. This can issue refunds. This can book calls if you want this to also do sales because remember, the number one way to sell somebody is to turn somebody that's upset into a happy and a raving customer because those are going to be the people that are going to tell more people about you and you were able to do that now simply by building out an agent inside of ChatGPT. Now I want you to think about this because you don't just have to do this for your business or maybe you don't have a business that you're going to do this for. You could go through and build out these custom solutions for other people and then sell them. In fact, you could sell an agent like this literally for thousands of dollars and you could even charge them for upkeep on it. And guess what? ChatGPT literally has a template of how to do this. And this is so easy that a 12 year old could do this. Now, the last type of agent and automation that I would strongly suggest that you guys build out is something that uses this data enrichment. So basically what this does is you could put something in here. This then calls on an agent and then this calls on another agent to summarize and display it. Now, this is incredibly basic, but I want you to think about this. If you were building out an agent to analyze real estate deals or section eight deals or somebody's tax returns or all the different things that you could upload into this. Because remember, if we come over here and click on preview, we can make it so you can upload certain things in here. You can build out agents that are niche for analyzing so many different things. Again, think about real estate. Think about taxes. Think about financial related things. Anything that somebody could analyze. It could be Facebook ads or Google ads. What you can do is actually build out these agents that are going to enrich the information that is given. And then you could add another agent on here. And I'm going to use just this agent for example, but you could add in custom instructions. You could add in custom reasoning. And basically what you're doing is taking advantage of the fact that people are trying to do these things in ChatGPT, in Claude, in Gemini, and they're not getting the results that they want, not because these systems can't do this, but because they don't have the right instructions or they're not calling the right tools or they don't have access to the right internal files like what I showed you with the YouTube script writer earlier. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through exactly how you can build out AI agents and AI automations with ChatGPT Agent Builder. Check it out here.